Hello everyone, I have been looking into CS API for some time now. So just want to do a quick video on how to publish CS model using AWS SQL. So as you may know, CS is a high level neural network API. Written in Python, uh, capable of running on TensorFlow, CMTK, Microsoft Cognitive Toolkit, or Kianos. So here I can call these APIs to actually perform the deep learning operation. So enough of theories, um, let's get going. We are going to use AWS SageMaker. Um, as I shared in my earlier videos, AWS SageMaker lets you train, build, and deploy machine learning models and algorithms. So I'm going to create a new notebook instance. Uh, in this case, I'm going to just call it as linear regression. How that my notebook instance is created? I'm going to start typing some Python code in NumPy, import NumPy library as mp import map plot lib map plot pi plot as plt. So I'm going to import keyers. 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 Model. Okay. Then let me just check actually the version. So understand version, we can take a look at like this, and it's Kira's version 2. So for this linear regression model, I'm going to create 100 x x values. Uh, for y values, I'm applying this formula. Um, if, the, if you look at the formula, the formula is something like y is equal to 4 times 4x, uh, like 4 times x, plus some random mass. So this is this is the formula that we are going to that we apply. Now if you want to see what these values are, you can always do chain data x, and it actually can show you what, what do I have in this x variable. And then if I do the similar thing, chain data underscore y, you can see what the y values are. It is so difficult to see these values to understand this. So let me just plot these using matplotlib. Um, so this is the this is the graph of how it's coming up. So now the problem that I'm trying to solve is I want to build a model to predict my y values. And uh, ideally the model should be going somewhere on this along this line uh, as I move my cursor. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to try to train a model that actually predict the y values or reverse engineer this formula that we just had, which is y is equal to uh, 4 times x plus uh, randomness. Okay, now, so let's instantiate the model. Now that our sequential model is instantiated, let's add a dense layer to the model. As a one, and this is one thing I really like about the TS API. Uh, so what we can do is actually we can uh, try to use the format that we are suggesting over here. So let me do this. And run it. Okay. If I want to see the model summary, I can always do model dot summary. And this is telling me the model, the layers that the model has. Oh, as you can see, I actually added multiple layers over here. Uh, so I'm I'm actually going to take out uh, some of these layers very easily. Do you can do model dot top. I actually want just one layer here. So if you do this, you can see modern dot summary. Uh, and then I actually need to take one more out. So I'm going to do modern dot top. Okay. So if you do model dot summary, now you can see that I have just one dense layer that I originally intended to have. And then it has two parameters. You know. See the initial weight and biases. So I'm going to run this. To find the weights if you look at the weight. Okay, so the initial weight is negative 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, This is before before we start the training. So let me try to plot this with the current initial values to see how the plot looks like, what the model y predicted values without the training of the model is. So here so let's use that plot lib. Plot it. So now you can see the prediction right now. It's going flat over here. Basically, 
you need to certainly train the model and apply uh, use the keyless library for it. And to ideally, our prediction model should y value should be going around, going in this in this along these lines. So let's compile the model. And let's start training the model. Now the model is trained. Let's see what the model predicts for the y values. Let's get the prediction out. Now let's use this. So let's use this prediction to plot. And this is now beautiful. Now you can see that our prediction line, uh, essentially y is equal to 4x plus some randomness. You can see that how nicely the prediction line is drawn right next to the y line. Thank you very much for this short video, watching my short video. I hope you enjoyed as much as I may, as I enjoyed making it. Thank you.